I glanced at the picture that had just been taken, a faint smile playing on my lips as I appreciated the transformation that had occurred over the past two plus years. The journey, which had initially felt like a tortuous nightmare, had shaped me into someone I never thought I'd become. My name is Alex, and this is my story. It all began when my mother sent me to live with my aunt, Evie. At the time, I despised her for making me leave home, and I often daydreamed of escaping during those first few weeks. Little did I know that my life was about to take a profound turn. The torment began with corset training, both day and night. Evie, with a cruel grin, would tighten the corset beyond my comfort, insisting that I'd thank her one day for the beautiful figure it would give me. I couldn't fathom why she was putting me through this, but she had a plan in mind. As the days turned into months, I not only became a dedicated student of femininity, but I found myself growing increasingly eager to learn. Hormones and subliminal CDs played throughout the day and night slowly began to transform me, unleashing Gwyneth bit by bit. It was as if I were becoming a new person, a woman. Evie taught me everything from hair and makeup to fashion and comportment. She guided me through the intricacies of my new identity, and I began to embrace it. I couldn't deny the changes happening to my body and my mind. Greg, the person I once was, was fading away. Now, Gwyneth is almost ready to return home for a visit with my mother before my final surgery is scheduled. Evie has even arranged a job for me as a secretary at a woman's law firm, where I'll continue to live with my aunt for a while longer. Evie, always curious and insightful, wonders about my evolving sexuality. She predicts that I'll follow in the footsteps of others she's trained, embracing a bisexual identity. The days leading up to my visit home were filled with a mix of excitement and anxiety. Would my mother accept the person I had become? I had grown so accustomed to Gwyneth that the thought of returning to being Alex felt like a distant memory. When I finally arrived at my childhood home, I was met with a mix of emotions. My mother, though initially taken aback, greeted me with a tentative smile. The transformation was undeniable, and I could see her struggling to reconcile the son she had sent away with the daughter who stood before her. Over time, though, my mother began to understand and accept the changes I had undergone. We shared stories, laughter, and tears as I filled her in on the incredible journey that had led me to this point. It wasn't an easy conversation, but it was a necessary one, and it brought us closer together. Returning to Evie's after the visit was bittersweet. I missed my mother, but I also knew that this was where I needed to be to complete my transformation. Evie continued to support and guide me, helping me prepare for the final surgery that would align my physical appearance with my true self. My new job at the law firm provided me with an opportunity to test my newfound identity in the outside world. I was met with acceptance and respect, and I relished in the chance to fully embrace my role as Gwyneth. It was liberating to be myself without judgment or prejudice. As the days turned into weeks, I began to explore my evolving sexuality. Evie's prediction seemed to hold true as I found myself attracted to both men and women. It was a new and exciting chapter in my life, and I felt a sense of empowerment in embracing my bisexuality. With the final surgery scheduled, I couldn't help but reflect on the incredible journey that had brought me to this point. From the days of torment and doubt to the moments of self-discovery and acceptance, I had become the person I was always meant to be. I was no longer just Alex or Gwyneth. I was a unique and authentic individual, shaped by the love and guidance of my aunt, Evie. As I looked towards the future, I knew that there would be challenges ahead, but I was ready to face them as my true self. The past two plus years had been a transformational odyssey, and I was grateful for every step of the journey that had brought me here.